Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS Adam programming. So when working on Adam datasets, we may have to create dates and date imputations. So in this lesson, we will see how to convert character dates in ISO format, ISO 86 format to numeric date time and date time values. So we know that in HDTM datasets, dates are present in a character variable and they are represented in ISO 8601 format. We also know that in ISO 86 format, the date values are structured as four digit year followed by a hyphen and then two digit month followed by two digit day. And then we separate the date and time portion with a T in between and then followed by two digit hours, minutes and seconds. So for analysis purposes, we may need the date, time or date and time variables in numeric format. So in Adam datasets, we create specific numeric variables to store the date and time and date time values. So in this lesson, so we will see how to convert character date values to numeric format. So let us now go to the specification. So here we are taking the example of an adverse events uh, date values as example. So from which we are trying to create three variables. The first one is ASTDT, which is analysis start date. And the second one is ASTTM, which is analysis start time. And the third one is ASTDTM, which is analysis start date and time. So in Adam, the date values end in DT and time values end in TM and date time values end in DTM. So as we are talking about the start date of an adverse events, the prefix would be AST. So A is analysis, ST is start. So similarly, in this time variable, A is analysis, ST is start. And then in the date time variable, so analysis, ST is start. So if, for example, if we are trying to create numeric versions for end date of adverse events, the values would be like A, E, N, D, T and A, E, N, T, M and A, E, N, D, T, M. So when it is start and end, so we have the a as prefix and then st to indicate start en to indicate end but in collections like lab and other things we only have single date value like the analysis date so in that case we don't need the st or en in that case what will happen is the date variable would be represented in adt and the time variable would be represented in atm and then date time variable is represented with the name adtm without any this st or en component so let us now move to the input data and then see what we have so we have ae01 as input so in which we have u sub jd and aestdtc variable so if we take a look at the values in aestdtc here on the first row we only have year component collected and in the second row we have both year and month and on the third row we have full date collected and in the fourth row we have full date along with the hours being collected but we do not have minutes and seconds so here on the fifth row we have full date along with hours and minutes also collected and then in the last observation we have all the components including seconds is being collected so we will now see how to create astdt aend astdt astdtm and astdtm variables using ASTD, AESTDTC. So let us now move to the program. So here I am creating a copy of existing data which is called as AE01 and I am using that data set as input in the core step where we are creating our ASTDT, ASTTM and ASTDTM variables. So we will now go through the code line by line and then see how this works. So here, if we see the first condition that we are checking is if length of AESTDTC is greater than or is equal to 16, then do. So here we are checking if at least the number of characters in AESTDTC variables is 16, then only we are asking these three statements to be executed. Otherwise, we are using a next block which is actually having only one statement. So why are we checking for the length and then creating ASTDT, ASTTM and ASTDTM? So in order for the uh, 
variable value to have all the components of date and time so the minimum expected length is 16 now why we are looking for 16 is like if you see so we know that uh, the date component in ISO 8601 uh, format occupies 10 characters so four digits for year two digits for month and two digits for uh, day so that will become eight and we have two delimiters one between the year and month and the second one is in between month and day so we have total 10 characters similarly if we see hours and minutes so this becomes five characters so and then if we have to represent time in uh, sas numeric format it it should at least have hours and minutes calculate collected so here if we see now this is 10 and the t is 11 and for minimum uh, daytime values to be collected so we will have to have at least 16 characters in the data value so that we, it, we know that we have both the date collected and also time collected till minutes so seconds is optional but at least if we need uh, to collect or represent time so we need to have both hours and minutes uh, collected so now let us come back to the code and then see how it is working so when we have at least 16 characters we know that we will be able to create we know that full date is collected and then full time in at least hours and minutes is collected in that case we will only be able to create ASTDT, ASTTM and ASTDTM so if it is less than 16 which means we will not be able to create the at least one of them either the time and ASTDTM so the first condition is if it is greater than 16 we know that date component is collected and time component is connect, collected till at least hours and minutes so if we see when that is the case we are creating the first variable as ASTDT so from AESTDTC we are extracting the first 10 characters so we know that the first 10 characters represent the date so and the date is in year month and date and the overall width occupied is 10 characters so we are using that in format yymmdd10 and then converting it into numeric format using input function so we will have our ASTDT created and then in the next statement what we are doing is we are creating ASTTM variable here what we are trying to do is we know that the date and time portions are separated by T in ISO 8601 format so we are making use of scan function here to extract the second component or the second component after uh, when T is the delimiter so which means that anything after the letter T would be extracted using this scan function so which actually represents our hours and minutes because after t letter we will have our hours and minutes so why, why i am saying we have hours and minutes is like because we have clearly checked if it is greater than or is equal to 16 so when the length is greater than or is equal to 16 we will clearly have at least time collected till minutes so in that case so we are extracting the time component and then using the informat time 8 dot and creating ASTTM so we'll have ASTTM created in this step so the time component is extracted and then converted to numeric and then so we are using on uh, the next line we are creating our ASTDTM so which is used to store both date and time in a single variable so here we are using input AESTDTC which is which means that here for date so we use sub str to extract it and for time we use scan function but as we are creating daytime we need the entire value present in ASTDTC so we are not applying any processing here and then here we are making use of IS8601 DT19 dot in format to create our ASTDTM variable so when the length is at least 16 so we'll be able to create all three so that's why we used this do loop to create that so we will be able to create uh, date value or time value when at least 
that relevant component is present in data. So if we have to create ASTDT, we will need at least that initial 10 characters to be present. So in the next else statement, what we are doing is we are checking if at least the length of the number of characters present in ASTDT is 10. So here we have checked for 16 and then else at least checking if the value present in that AESTDTC at least has a full date value. So if it is present, then we will be able to create AESTDT and then creating AESTDT here by extracting the 10 characters and then converting it into numeric format using YYMMDD10.in format. So and after that we are assigning the suitable format for ASTDT, AESTTM and ASTDTM. So this is how we can create our numeric date time, date time or date time variable values. So one thing to note is like as we, we might have covered this somewhere else but so why we are applying this format is that once we convert the character date into numeric format it for dates SAS stores that uh, numeric dates as a particular date as the number of days from 1st Jan 1960. So that numeric say for example if we have a date of 1st Jan 1960 the value would be 0. So if we do not apply this format and if we try to take a look at the ASTDT values they would appear like 0, 1, 2 and 3 and so on. So but we want to see that value as the actual date. So we are applying date 9 format. So when we say the value of 0 and when we say apply date 9 format to it so it converts that 0 as or it displays the value 0 as the 1st Jan 1960. Similarly for time so it stores uh, SAS stores the time values as the number of seconds from 12 a.m. So we are using time 8 format for that number of seconds to be converted as a particular time in terms of hours and minutes and seconds. And then for ASTDTM, we are making use of a uh, format called date time 20. So this is how we can convert ISO 8601 format into numeric date time and date time values and also apply format to those variables. And now let us take a look at the output data set that is getting created out of this. So A02, so we had use of JD and ASTDTC in the input data. And then we have we have created ASTDT, ASTTM and ASTDTM. So if we take a look at ASTDT on the first row, the ASTDT is missing. So why is it missing? So here only year is collected. So we know that if we are creating numeric variables, that variable actually stores the a particular date as the number of days from 1st Jan 1960. So here when we only have year so we cannot actually convert it into a particular number of days from 1st Jan 1960. So we will not have or we will not be able to create a numeric variable when partial dates are present. And then similarly on the second record we have a partial date and here also we on the first record we only had year but here we had uh, year and month but the day is missing so again so as we cannot convert it to the exact number of days from 1st Jan 1960 so we cannot have a numeric date so the, hence the, we have that value as in ASTDT as null. So in all the other records we had the date component at least is full. So here we had 10 characters all, all the date portion is present so we have ASTDT created and similarly on the other records because we had full date component present in the subsequent rows. So if we take a look at the ASTTM, so as we don't have time component collected at all, the time is missing till the third observation. On the fourth observation, we had hours collected, but we do not have minutes and seconds collected. So as we have said, discussed earlier, it SAS stores a time value in numeric format as the number of seconds from 12 a.m. So when we only have 23 so which is 11 p.m. Uh, we do not have the minutes so we cannot actually convert it into uh, number of seconds from 1st Jan uh, 12 a.m. Uh, of that particular day. So hence as we cannot convert this 
23 to number of seconds we have ASTTM missing. So one thing to notice though if we do not have uh, seconds collected SAS assumes it as uh, 0 seconds. So but it is not the case for missing minutes. So it does not assume that it is 11 0 0 a.m. or 23 it does not assume it as 11 0 0 p.m. but for seconds it we can assume it as 0 seconds and then we will be able to create numeric variables even when seconds are not collected. So just a thing to note the minutes are not assumed as 0 but the seconds will be assumed as 0. So and again here when we have hours minutes and say uh, seconds collected we can create that numeric value and then assign a format to see that value uh, converted back into a suitable time value and then ASTDTM is used to store the date and time value in a single variable so how does SAS store date time values is it stores it as the number of seconds from 12 a.m. of 1st Jan 1960 so it, if for ASTDTM to be represented or uh, populated, we should have time present at least till minutes. So then only we'll be able to represent the date time value in numeric format. So that is the same reason why we have date time value populated only on the last two records because we need full date and time till at least minutes. So then we'll be able to convert it into numeric date time values so this is how we can create date and date date time and time variables into numeric format from iso 8601 format thank you for watching and keep learning